What's up? What's up, my peoples? How y'all doing? Today is a blessed day. Y'all see my bus back there. I'm at work again, but hey, I have a little break. So I'm going to take this opportunity to, you know, just uh, edify with y'all. And let me talk about my locks today. So I had my hat on on my introduction video. This is my second video. And I was talking about the metaphysical, you know, just being positive and all that. However, I, I neglected to tell you guys that I have a lock journey that I will also be speaking on and expanding on, you know. So let's go ahead and take a look at my locks. I've had these locks. This is my second set of locks, first of all. I've had locks for 11 years now. No, 10 years now. However, I recently cut it. So the locks I had, the traditional locks I had for going on 10 years. So now it's been seven months since I've had these. So it'll almost be 11. But anyhow, let's go ahead and look at the thickness of them. These are my organic locks now. I'm freeforming. The first set of locks I had, I wasn't really into the freeforming thing. I wanted it to look a certain way. I wanted all of my locks to be symmetrical and you know unified. However, now the mindset that I'm I have now is more of a free spirit. I am a free spirit. Therefore, I want my hair to manifest what I'm feeling inside. So you know, I just let nature take this course. And I did initially uh, use a sponge and then I, I combed, well, I washed it out, not combed it out. I washed it out because I was like, that's still like, you know, me manipulating it. So what I did was um, I take my hand through it when I used to put oil on it, which was a few months ago. And I'll do like this and it formed my locks. However, my locks were already formed on their own based off my curl pattern. So, you know, I'm, I'm feeling it. This is the first time in my life I've had short hair like this. And I actually like it. I don't look bad. I get a lot of compliments and people are like, oh, I love your hair. And I'm like, thank you. you know, they're like, what are you doing to it? Because when I wash it sometimes and when I did put oils on it, it looks like I retwisted it. But I'm like, no, I didn't retwist it. All I did was, you know, put my hand through it or whatnot. So, you know. I'm really feeling the way they look and, and it's growing fast, actually faster than it grew when I had the traditional locks. So I am going to put up a video of my um, transitioning from the traditional locks to cutting it and having these locks. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to do it, however, whenever I get time to, I get accumulate all my pictures because I have quite a lot of pictures over the years. You can see how they evolved. And how I, I evolved as well, because I lost a lot of weight. I'm vegan. I didn't talk about that as either. But, um, man, life is so good. It's great, man. Evolution is now. You know, everything is now. Everything is in the mind. And I've learned so much about myself. And I've learned so much about the world. And, and I've been cultivated. And... I have a lot to share with y'all, especially about this vegan lifestyle. And I shouldn't say vegan, I should say just whole food, naturalist, organic. Okay, somebody beeping, all right. Well, anyways, um, I feel good, I feel great. My pineal gland is open, which is my third eye. You see those Indians, they have the dots right there that signifies the third eye. And I also, I love pine cones. If I can find one, that'd be awesome, because I am outside. I usually have some with me. I have a pine cone, actually, in my bag. And I usually have it with me, but just in this instance, I didn't. But pine cones, I love pine cones because they resemble the pineal gland, which is the third eye, which is that uh, connect connection, that spiritual connection unto the most high, unto the cosmos. Oh, I didn't know this was a road. I'm all in the street. But uh, anyhow, y'all be blessed. And it's a joy to have life and to share with y'all today. Today is the 19th of January, and yesterday was a special day because it was 8, 18, 18, yeah, 18, 18. That's why I sparked off that, that series, and I get so shy in front of the camera, y'all. 
it's like I don't know what to say but when I'm talking to somebody one on one that's like I can talk all day but it's like dang she talk a lot but yeah I'm, I'm more like okay I don't know what to say but this is impromptu this is actually what I wanted to do to get more personal with y'all and to get more comfortable being in front of the camera because yeah I'm not comfortable in front of the camera that's just point blank period and ah, there's a lot of stuff a lot of stuff a lot of stuff I want to touch on but I want to get some viewers first so um, I don't know what exactly I'm gonna name this video oh yeah free forming forming free my my dome is free I'm forming freely I'm liberated <laughs> And there's nobody here. There's one person at, at the uh, station right now. This is a transit station. So the day in the life of a bus operator here in Tampa, Florida. It's fun. Fun, fun, fun. Fun times. Well, y'all be blessed and uh, continue to enjoy and positivity. Peace.